This shop has made over $323,000 selling digital patterns on Etsy. This other shop has made over $130,000 selling downloadable Tumblr illustrations. And finally, this last shop is making over $5,000 a month from this single print-on-demand mug. Now, do you see the pattern here? All these shops are using very similar designs to sell three very different kinds of products, which means that you could essentially create a single design and potentially triple your income by selling it on many different forms, from print-on-demand products to digital downloads. Now, this shop right here is doing exactly that. It is selling designs on shirts, and once those designs prove to be good sellers, they are essentially putting them on mugs as well, and basically profiting twice from the exact same image. So we can apply the same strategy, but with pattern designs instead, which are incredibly versatile images that can go anywhere from a mug to a wallpaper. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create cool pattern designs like this ones. And the best part is we're going to be using Midjourney, which is my favorite AI design tool to come up with the graphics. I'm also going to be showing you what I believe to be one of the most promising print on demand niches on Etsy. And because there's not a lot of competition still, your chances of growing faster are much higher. So if you find that interesting, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. It really makes a huge difference. So in case you're not familiar with it, print-on-demand is essentially a form of dropshipping, which means that the products are shipped straight from the provider to your customer. The buyer places the order on Etsy and it gets automatically sent to your print-on-demand provider, which will take care of printing and shipping the product to your customer. And this is extremely convenient for you because not only you don't have to handle inventory, but you also don't need to worry about shipping the products yourself. So your job comes down to basically creating the designs that are going to be printed on the products, creating the listings on Etsy or Shopify, and then of course growing your store and your product catalog. And to make things even easier for you, I'm going to show you a print-on-demand niche that is not as saturated as others, so it'll be easier for you to get started. Now, you've probably seen dozens of videos showing you how to create print-on-demand t-shirts using AI, but there's a relatively untapped print-on-demand niche that is showing massive growth recently, and that is the drinking tumbler niche. Now, as you can see, this particular store pretty much specializes in selling drinking tumblers, and it is a relatively new shop, which has only been going on for seven months, and over that period, it has made an incredible $130,000 in revenue. Now, tumblers can be sold as physical products, but this store is only selling the designs as digital downloads, so you can basically print the image and use it on your tumbler. But you can also sell the finished product using a print-on-demand service. So as you can see, there are two ways to go about selling this specific product, just the design or the whole thing. Now, keep in mind that the profit margins for print-on-demand products can vary anywhere from 10 to 50%. But in the case of digital downloads, those profit margins skyrocket to 91%. So it'll be up to you to decide which strategy you want to implement. Now, I would personally sell both the design as a digital download and as a physical product and that way pretty much cover all angles of this specific niche. Now another thing to keep in mind is the sheer amount of uploads and this is where you come in. The more listings you publish the higher your chances of success so it is to some degree a numbers game. By simply being consistent with your listings you already beat those competitors who lack the same consistency and if you leverage the power of AI to come up with great designs then your chances grow exponentially. Now because we want to increase our chances of success we're going to focus on a specific niche within the niche. So for this example, we're going to be designing pattern tumblers on different styles. You should also consider what products are ideal for pattern designs, and in my opinion, those would be mugs and drinking bottles. So these are all products that you could sell with the same design. Now, in case you're not familiar with it, Midjourney is an AI image generator from Discord that allows you to create all kinds of images in all kinds of styles using a combination of words called prompt. Not only you can define what you want to create, let's say a city skyline, but you can also define the style, the aspect ratio of the image, the color the level of detail, and a number of other attributes. So in this case, we are going to create a seamless pattern that we can print on a Tumblr, and then of course use on other products as well. So for that, we're going to draw inspiration from products that we already know are selling really well. So all you need to do is open the Midjourney app and create a server of your own. This will make the work much easier for you, so invite the Midjourney bot to your server and start creating images. So just type forward slash imagine and then simply describe the image you want to create. Let's say you want to create a design similar to this, all you need to do is look at the keywords that describe that specific product and use those keywords as your prompt. Now remember, you can also describe the style you want, which could be watercolor, cartoon, hand-drawn, and many others. And since the idea is to create a pattern and not a simple image, we are going to specify that the design needs to be seamless. And finally, since we're going to be creating a design to go on a tumbler, the image has to be rectangular. So you'll basically need to define the aspect ratio of your image as part of the prompt. All you need to do is type hyphen hyphen AR and a number that defines the ratio.
ratio, which in this case is going to be 16-9. So you see the three main components of any given prompt are the image description, the style of that image, and the aspect ratio. Now, as you can imagine, there's a world of options and prompts that you could try out. So as you can see, I've tried many different designs and prompts and came up with some really cool images that I believe could sell really well. But always remember, it is ultimately a numbers game. So the more you experiment, the more combinations you try, the higher your chances that one of those designs is going to become a hit. So once you've got your design, the last step in the process is to create your product on a site like Printify. Printify is a great option because it basically connects you with a multitude of print providers across the country. Now, once you've selected the product that you want to sell, make sure to select a print provider, take a look at their shipping and manufacturing costs, and choose one that suits your needs. Once you've selected your provider, just click on Start Designing, and this is where you drop the design that you created using Midjourney on the product canvas. Make sure to select this option so your design can take as much space as possible within the printable area, and then click Preview to see how it looks. Finally, click on Save Product, and here's where you can define your profit margin. Now, a good strategy in my opinion, especially when you're just getting started, is to set up a low profit margin to basically make your product more attractive than those of the competition, at least when it comes to the price. Here's where you'll have to define your product placement strategy according to your expectations and your goals. You could also sell at break-even prices to make your products even more attractive. Or if you want to see this as an investment, you could also sell at a small loss to attract even more customers and then gradually increase the price of your products as the orders start to come through. But as a good rule of thumb, when you're getting started, it's probably a good idea to sell for a small profit margin, at least until your store starts to get some momentum. As I told you guys, the reason we chose this specific kind of design is because we can sell it on tumblers as well as mugs, drinking bottles, and many other printable products as well. In which case, the process is exactly the same and all you might need to do, depending on the characteristics of each product, is maybe adjust the aspect ratio of your image. Now, when it comes to selling the design as a digital product, stores selling downloadable patterns are actually doing quite well, as you can see from these examples. And in the case of this product, your profit margins skyrocket to 91% because there is no print provider involved in the process. So you sell a cheaper product, but with a much higher profit margin. So there you have it, guys. It's definitely going to require some time and effort to create your first designs and get your first sales going. But consider that this is an almost infinitely scalable business. And as I mentioned before, the entry barrier to this market has never been lower. So it is quite literally the best chance we ever got to get in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And I'll definitely be posting more videos like this with more product ideas. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to the channel, dropping a like on the video, and leaving your comment down below. I'll see you guys next week.